Well, folks, the next couple days we're gonna do some tiling. Got some nice weather. Uh, I know it's cold out right now. It's, what is it, 35 degrees, but today's high is supposed to be like 70 or just under 70 and so is tomorrow so we've got everything pretty much moved over i'm hooking onto a tile cart right now uh dad's heading over to the field with the plow and uh then we can start plowing in some pipe gotta switch the ball Well, we've made it to the job site. I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, old 7230 fired up. Listen to this thing knock when it's cold. Yeah, so this top cart's got eight inch. This one's got six on it right now. That's the only spool of eight inch tile we got. So after that gets ran out, um, that cart will be in charge of four inch tile. It's pretty handy having two carts like this so you can have different size tile on each one. Dad needs a tape measure. What do you need a tape for? I need to measure my relative height to get started here. Relative height. What? I forget what that setting is. You gotta measure from your shear to the ground. What is it? 10 inches. So you just put that in your monitor? For yeah, you gotta make sure that's that's accurate, yeah. You gotta and see since I switched to my ranger and I put it on my tile or my uh, ditcher, those all change. doing a survey right now on this eight inch uh, tile we're about to put in. So we've got an eight inch outlet here that we put in yesterday. Um, there's a creek right over there. So tile just drains straight out into the creek. Um, I don't know how many feet we came off there, but I can kind of just show you what we're gonna do. So this is our eight inch outlet. We'll run this eight inch tile. And then all these laterals are four inch tile um, going there, so. And that all runs to this eight inch that goes out right here. And then we have our next outlet, which is a six inch outlet down the way. We've already put that in yesterday. So we run that six inch and then it's kind of the same deal. So you have four inch laterals coming off the six. So, yep. I've got to back in here and dig some more so there's plenty of room to put this tile plow in the ground. Um, so we can hook up to this eight and then uh, start plowing it in. We're gonna run this whole, whole spool out and then uh, the rest will be six and four. Just gotta pull it forward a little bit.
I'm not even gonna string that out. I'm just gonna run along the side of him while he's laying in this eight. But yeah, we got 989 feet of eight inch to run and then the rest uh, is six inch, which is like 445 feet. So we'll run this whole spool cart out and then we'll switch over to six and run the rest of that. And then after we get that six ran, everything else will be all four inch. So those are all the laterals. Four inches is all the laterals. this one so I'm gonna go ahead and unhook this and hook on to the other one I like this tile cart way better just because it's dual axle but the only problem is is I don't have my little uh, my little boxes on the front of it like the other one does that holds all these uh, caps and I got some menders in here so I really need to add a couple of boxes like the other one or crates or whatever's on the front to hold all that stuff and then uh, and this thing would be uh, set up just like the other one but the dual axle carts just ride so much better going through the field and yeah just a lot less banging around back there Now we have moved on to the four inch tile. So what we gotta do is, is run up here to the tile plow and take off this uh, this eight inch boot that's on it. Eight inch boot and shear. And we gotta put the four inch one on. So I'm gonna drive this up here to the tractor and we're gonna start doing that. We got the boot changed out. Um, little operator air on the camera because I thought it was rolling for a little time lapse of the boot change, but apparently it wasn't. So I didn't get any of that on film. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, string out some four inch tile here. We're gonna dig a start and start our first uh, first four inch run here. I guess I could stop up here too. Um, this main that we just ran, the water's already blowing right out of that outlet here. So that's pretty nice pretty cool to see that you know you just get you, well I didn't we weren't even done with the run yet and it was already running water so it's working that's a good sign It's 
not going. Oh, it's not? I thought I pressed the button before. Did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go down there and stand on it. February 26th, and it's 64 degrees right now, and we're tiling and t-shirts. That's pretty nice. So now I'm gonna string out this run. I really wish I would have brought my own uh, rubber boots because, well, I had to steal Jeff's and he's got a little bit bigger feet than I do. These are a little loose. Hopefully I don't step out of them. Well, folks, it's a little damp this morning. Had a little sprinkles last night, so it's just a little bit tacky. Uh, nothing really too bad, but another day. We're going to start laying in some tile. We're getting our uh, first start of the day here, Doug. Let me get a probe. Yep, get a probe.
got a little double camera action, Jeff. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Good to get into that, is it, Michael? Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> Creates a lot of Make work. For a long day. What are you gonna do here? The side of the tiles right here. We're gonna take the whole hog, drill a hole in the side. Dad, you're not really. There you go. You gotta pay attention to what you're filming. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm doing. We're gonna drill a hole in the side of this tile, put the connector in. That's how you hook up the uh, four-inch tile. You're going into what, six inch tile or eight? No, this is this eight. This is eight. Yeah. Eight till the rock pile. This is this good enough? Yeah, this is good, Jim. Now it's important to try to drill that right in the center of it, isn't it, Michael? Yep. Too high is not good, and too low is not good. Water running in that already? Here, take uh, the camera and see. There's a little bit of water in it. Not a lot. But... No, not as much as yesterday. Can't really tell. There's some water in there. An inch or two, right? Yeah. I'd say we might need a little rock because yeah. we're kind of low here. You can see how much daylight's underneath this inlet. So Yeah, we'll put a little rock in there. Put a little rock in and then we can hook up the tile. Alright. Probably should have put the uh, rubber boots on as well. <laughs> yeah, you should. So after we're done with the run, we take the backhoe and we cover up the tile with some turkey grit gravel. And, uh, and then whenever we get that bucket empty of gravel, we'll go back through and back go with the dirt for the rest of the way. Hold it. We 
got a little pile here. I'll take this shovel, scavenge this around, get this tile all covered up, and it's good to go. We did that slow enough, um, but normally if you just come over here with a load of rock and just think you're gonna dump it on there real fast and cover it up, it'll sometimes move this tile and it'll yank it right out of that right out of that main so it's happened from experience so that's why you either have somebody in here standing on the tile holding it or or you do it real slow you explain why you cover this tile up like this well i explained that we covered up with rock right but it's what it does it keeps that tile from uh flattening out and crushing over the weight, time. Of, weight of tractors and stuff since that's all loose dirt around that tile they could smash it down We just finished our last two runs here on this uh, this north half of this field, I guess you could say, because this field's broken up by a set of solar panels that sit over here. So the north half of these solar panels is pretty much complete. And uh, we lucked out today. It was supposed to rain and really be windy, but uh, we didn't get any of that. So it's been a pretty nice day. Well, I'm starting to move some stuff back to the farm. Uh, they're calling for some rain, uh, some pretty good thunderstorms tonight. I don't really know. I'm looking at the forecast right now. Um, don't really know if that's going to happen or not, but uh, moving some tile carts back to the farm because we have some tile there. So if we do come back here and do some more, um, we'll have to transport some tile from the farm to the field. So moving the one tile cart I'm hooked on to right now to the farm and gonna bring the trailer with the eight inch boot and I think that's all back to the farm everything else is gonna stay here but that'll be all for our tiling video so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one